guys, it's Sarah, and I am here with a Freckled Fawn Friday layout for you. So every Friday I am bringing you a layout that I use mostly my Freckled Fawn embellishment kits, and then I use pa pattern paper from my stash. So um, I am using this paper pad here today. This is from Die Cuts with a View, and it's called the Modern Meadow Stack. It is a couple years old. So I don't think it's available anymore. I believe I got it in a prize pack from somebody and I believe they got it at Michael's from what I remember. It's been a couple years, but I don't think I've used anything out of that yet. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and pull this one because the tones of the colors that I'm looking for were just good for it. So I'm using this diagonal stripe on the back because that has glitter all over it. The glitter doesn't come off, but it also gives the paper kind of a really weird, um, texture to it and I don't love it. So I'm going to use it as kind of my outlying background. And then I used this paper is going to be my main background. And I wanted to use this piece of paper because I really like the design on it. And it kind of goes along with my picture there. My picture is of two Coke bottles. So I thought it just kind of, you know, the shape of the design was kind of similar to a Coke bottle ish. Just go with it. It works anyway. So, um, I cut it down to about a quarter of an inch on each side and I'm putting it down on top of this. I'm using a lot of adhesive because of the glitter on that background paper there so I want to make sure it's going to stick. And I used some, um, I'm going to use this paper right here as well. This is also from that same stack. So all three of my pattern papers are from the Modern Meadow stack from Die Cuts with a View. So I'm going to put this on a piece of craft cardstock just to kind of outline or map my picture just a little bit. And that cardstock is from Basil, it's just a plain craft cardstock. And then I'm also using some Distress ink to um, ink the edges of all the paper so that they kind of flow together a little bit nicer, especially for this one because it has um, kind of the cream base. So I'm just using the Distress Ink, and that is in Rusty Hinge. That's the color that I am using there. And I really like the way that that flows together. And I dropped my pad on my desk, so yay, awesome. Fell right down, face down, so I'm using my Rapunzel wipes <laughs> to wipe it off my desk. Can you tell I have girls? Yep, sure do. Okay, so now I'm bringing out my hip, uh, my hip kits. No, not this time, Sarah. Freckled Fawn kits. Uh, so I keep them all in this iris case and each month they come in a different pouch but the embellishments don't necessarily go together each month so uh, I just take them all apart. I empty the pouch and empty them into this iris container and then I just go through it when I'm working with my kits here. And I really like the pouches so I keep them for you know if I go to a crop or something I can put stuff in it or you know even gift bags and stuff like that. The, the bags are super cute that they come in. So I'm going through here and trying to figure out what in the world I want to use because I have no clue. So I pull out what kind of initially stood out to me and I'm really looking for reds in here because my picture is majority red. So I'm just pulling out everything that um, is red or has a red tone and uh, stuff like that. So that's kind of what I'm doing and trying to see what catches my eye initially. So this picture is, like I said, of two Coke bottles. That is a very close-up picture of a, um, I guess an advertisement, I guess you could, like a poster for the Coke bottles over the summer when they had the personalized ones with the names on them. I think they're still available. I don't see them quite as often as I did over the summer. Um, but we were walking through Walmart, and my husband stopped in his tracks because they had this huge bin just full of Coke bottles and the advertisement was on front and the advertisement had Josh and Sarah. And we were just like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. So he got down and um, put his camera, his iPhone up really close and took a picture of it. So um, I wanted to make sure I documented that because it was just really cool. It's like you don't see that very often, <laughs> you know, where um, it has his name and my name and my name is spelled correctly because they have Sarah without an H as well. So... Um, I thought it was pretty cool. All right, so I'm going to use these for my main alphabets here. These are just a clear, transparent, kind of an outline alphabet. And so I'm going through and I'm trying to find all the letters for Coke Nose. So like Coke Nose, they understand us. They get us, Sarah and Josh. <laughs> 
Um, so I'm trying to find all of the letters for that. And as I'm going through them, I'm realizing I only have one O, so I'm going to have to kind of fudge a second O, but I end up making it work. So I'm looking for something now that I can easily make an O. And I'm thinking I'm going to use the Q right there, and I will end up uh, using that instead. So I'm going to go ahead and put these back because these are, um, you know, they're all over the place, so I don't want to, I don't want to lose any. So I'm going to go ahead and put those back in the package there. And I'm going to use this Q and I'm just going to cut off the tail end here. And it looks a little bit weird, but I'm, I'm going to make it so that it, it works okay. <laughs> it's not perfect, but that's okay. Um, and I will end up putting something over, over that kind of weird spot where I cut it off. All right, so I'm going to have that there and then I'm going to use that little love, um, what kind of material is that? It's kind of like a resin, I guess. It's it's that tough as far as, um, you know, how thick it is. So I think it's kind of a resin and it has some glitter on it, but it says love, so I'm gonna use that as well. And then I'm using one of these squared oilies. So basically, um, I have the pattern paper, the ink, the craft card stock, and I'm gonna use a little piece of gold washi tape, but then everything else that I use on here is from Freckled Fun. And that's kind of my goal is to uh, use up pretty much freckled fawn everything except for the papers and maybe one or two things here and there, but I try not to. Um, so I put that squared oily behind the picture there and I just like that little added touch behind the picture. And I'm gonna go ahead and get my um, title down and I am using my ATG. You can see it a little bit through, but it's really not, it doesn't bother me. And I've done this before, I've used these letters before and I just used my ATG and it didn't bother me at all. So. Um, even though you can still kind of see the adhesive, it's not terrible. And if someone is looking at my layout and complaining about the adhesive, then you're not looking at my scrapbooks for the right reason. So I'm kind of to that point right now <laughs> where little things are not bothering me all that much. <laughs> so. so I did Coke Nose, and then I'm going to use these little perler dots here, and I'm going to do kind of like dot, 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 and then I'm going to use the love there as well. So I'm using the three smaller dots. And this love was backed with some, um, I guess, like glue dots or something, but man, it just kind of tore up the back of the packaging. So I'm going to use my quick dry adhesive to put that down just to reinforce it. Drinking my McDonald's coffee. <laughs> and then I had pulled this red paper clip that has a camera and a heart on it, and I really like it. So I'm going to put that down here. I'm using a, just a little spare piece of washi tape to hold the clip down on the back there so it doesn't go sliding all over the place. I have these little washi tape strips and two came in there. I don't know if that was a mistake though or not. I don't know if I was supposed to get two sheets in there. Usually there's only one. So I don't know if I got an extra accidental bonus or not, but I'm going to take it. So I put um, half of it on top, half of it on bottom. I have this little piece of gold washi glitter tape that is um, left over from something else I used, so I stuck it on a piece of um, wax paper so I'm just like I'm gonna throw that on here. <laughs> just one of those. It's here so I'm gonna use it. Um, I have a little label there that has lines on it where I'm gonna do my journaling and then I have an arrow, um, a little rubber arrow that says so awesome and I'll put that, that down at the bottom. I got these cool um, new glue dots from Scotch. I got these at Office Max. Um, we were there looking for um, office supply organization type stuff and we found ourselves in an aisle that had these and I was like, oh, I'm going to get some because I ran out of glue dots. So um, they were really cool. They came off really nicely. So I put that teeny tiny little heart badge over that O so I kind of covered up the little awkward spot where I, cover it, where I cut it. And then um, another little wood button I believe I put over the other O just to kind of make it look like it's supposed to be there. Um, I'm gonna, cutting out or punching out a couple of these little phrases here. I don't remember exactly what they say, uh, but you'll see them in the close-ups. I do have a close-up photo of them. But I pulled those out, and then I have a little banner that says fun, up, and I'm going to put that up at the top. Um, what else am I doing here? Looking through everything that I initially pulled to see what else I want to use. Um, I pulled out this little frame here 
and I believe on the top it says awesome and then five stars on the bottom so I'm going to use that to frame my journaling spot and then I have these chipboard hearts so I pulled a couple of red ones and then I'm also going to use a couple of gold hearts along with those there as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff stuck down. For the chipboard I always reinforce it because I don't know chipboard never seems to be super sticky on the back for some reason I always have issues with it so better safe than sorry. Um, then we use a couple of these gold puffy hearts here too. I wanted to bring out more gold since I have that gold glitter washi tape down there by the picture. I figured I should bring in some more elsewhere too. So I'm just going to get all this stuff stuck down. And then um, I will also do these um, word tile strips here and then I'll do my journaling on the inside of that frame there. And I believe I'm going to go ahead and do my journaling now and I believe, oh no, actually I use one of these cork things. I believe it says pretty much perfect and I'm going to put that right here next to the camera because I wanted one more thing next to that camera there. And then I'm going to use the, the rest of these red pearl uh, dots. They're kind of like enamel dots but they're pearls so they're thicker and they stand up a little higher than enamel. So I'm going to go ahead and use the entire red row here. And I also used, um, I don't think I mentioned this, but the polka dot paper, I also thought that kind of reminded me of like the bubbles in the soda. <laughs> so <laughs> it just kind of clicked for me when I looked through that paper bun. All right. So that's going to be it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know if you have any questions at all. And if you want to check out the Freckled Fawn embellishment kits, it is a monthly kit subscription and it's all embellishments and they are awesome. Um, I will leave a link to their website in the description of this video if you want to check those out. Hope you guys have a great day and I will see you again soon. Bye.